Hi everyone, I wanted to send a little video out about the optional homework. It's all about writing homophones. This is part of our spelling and this is a great way for us to expand our vocabulary. We're going to definitely use some context clues to make sure we pick the correct word. So, uh, synonyms are really good to know in this instance. Um, a synonym is, do you remember? It's a word that has the same or similar meaning as the one in front of you, right? So let's take a look at this one here. Choose. We have choose and choose. If you already know how to spell this one, this one means as in food. I'm going to chew with my mouth, right? Choose, a nice synonym for C-H-O-O-S-E is to pick, right? If you go to the store, mom and dad says, choose one toy. Oh, what a decision you have to make. But means you get to pick only one, right? All right, so the next one, male, M-A-L-E. That means a boy, right? A boy. Male, M-A-I-L, you would get in the male box, which was a spelling word a few weeks ago, right? This is like an envelope. Something you get in the mail box. Scent. Ah, we did this one before we left school. Scent and scent. What is scent and scent? C-E-N-T means, that's right, cha-ching, money. We want some money, honey. There we go. S-E-N-T means to send something. The past tense of send, right? Like you're going to send something in the mail, just like that. H-E-A-L, heal. Ooh, we want to make sure to heal from any of our injuries. Pretty much to get better, right? I want to heal. Now, H-E-E-L, as in the heel of your foot. Maybe you stepped on a rock and you hurt your heel. That is on your foot, right? Got to use those context clues here in just a second. H-E apostrophe L-L, that is our contraction. Do you guys remember what con the contraction was? It's two words. We're shortening it up just a little bit, meaning he will. Let's take, it our, take a look at our sentences now. A stallion is a blank horse. Stallion. That's going to give us our context clue. If we're talking about a stallion, it's a type of horse. What kind of horse is it? So if we're taking a look, is it a money horse? No. Not unless it wins the Kentucky Derby. All right. So here we go. It's going to be a, oh, looky there. A male horse. A stallion is a male horse. It's a boy. Take a look at number two. I didn't have a blank in my purse. Hmm. Don't have a blank in my purse. Well, here's our clue. Here's a purse. What do we carry in a purse? What's mom carry in her purse? Or dad carries in his wallet. I don't think it's food. It's not the heel of your foot. It would be cha-ching the money. Scent. I don't have a scent. Let's take those and cross those out since we know we already used those. Number three, that wound, uh-oh, should blank in a few days. There's our context clue. Did you find it? Which one is it? It's the word wound. That's our context clue, that wound should so if we have something that we hurt ourselves, that context clue would be wound. I'm going to use the word heal. Get better. It should get better in a few days, right? Number four. 
Becky's shoe was worn down at the... Oh, now what's our context clue? Which one are we looking for here? We're talking about a shoe. So what gives us a hint for shoe? We'll use that one. I'm going to cross that out. Which one's for a shoe? Something to do with your foot. So heel, H-E-E-L, the heel of her shoe. All right, we're making good progress here, guys. Number five, Ernesto always blank his food slowly. What's our clue? The clue's going to be right there in the sentence where you need, just need to stop and look for it. Ernesto always food. We're talking about food, so this is going to be our clue. What does he do to his food? He doesn't send it in an envelope, does he? No. What does he do? Oh, food. We talked about this while ago. Choose. C-H-E-W-S. He chews his food slowly. And hopefully with his mouth goes. Ah, 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 ah. Number six. Ginger. Oh, Ginger's uncle. Her a present. A birthday present. What did he do? Ginger's uncle. What did he do? This is a good verb here. He sent her a birthday present. Hopefully she sent him a thank you note. Move this up a little bit. Watch for an important letter in the... Hmm, what do we have left? Remember, a good... way to see pro is the process of elimination to see what you have left okay so if we know that male is correct and that's a boy we're talking about male is in an envelope what is our we got a letter here's our context clue right there we got a letter so we got male Oh, yep, they do have a little period. I was checking the back of that. There's a little bitty period right there. I want to make sure to get all my punctuation in there. Number eight. It is hard to blank between two of your favorite foods. What do we have left? We use this one now. We've got just a few left. It's hard to blank between two of your favorite foods. You have to, uh-oh, Choose between two of your favorites. All right, number nine. If the cat doesn't like his food, blank complain. Hmm. Blank complain. We use that one already. What do we have left? Just the one. Right there. Cat doesn't like complain. We're talking about the cat. So the only thing we really have left is he'll complain. He'll com he will complain. That's what that kitty cat's going to do. There we go. So we finished writing homophones for today. I hope you had fun, and I will see you soon. Bye.